Well, you already know the drill. Caleb and I went to go shoot some abandoned... No. No, this isn't right. Caleb and I went to Hawaii for a vacation. Today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. Yeah, it's true. We had some flight credit and decided to hop on over to the magical islands of Hawaii. But this time around, we brought our girlfriends. No, not our Leica M6s. Our totally real, not paid actors girlfriends. Just be normal. I'm trying. Our first stop was Oahu, where we'd be staying in the bustling city of Waikiki. Unfortunately, Caleb and I would be apart for the time being because his flight was slightly delayed. But I was soon distracted as I stepped out onto that shaky balcony that could crumble at any moment. I knew what I had to do, shoot some aerochrome. But is it real aerochrome or fake aerochrome? Who knows? Well, I know, but I'm not gonna tell you because I think it's kind of funny. What is aerochrome? I've explained it so many times it's starting to hurt. Here is a one sentence oversimplification. It's an old, rare film stock that can see infrared light and it's sick. It wouldn't be a typical tropical vacation without some Kendall Jenner inspired film photos. So I brought along the Contax T2 and slammed some Cinestill down right the f into it. Lately I've been shooting a lot of Cinestill 800T, overexposed one stop during the daytime. And it's been super nice, try it sometime. Or don't, I don't really care what you do, I'm not your mom, probably. Anyway, the toilet in our room was aesthetic as f so I, searching for my next magnum opus in the form of another toilet shot, took this. It's good, but it's not legendary. We'll be back for you, my precious. You just stay right there. Hot off the toilet, we decided we didn't want to spend all vacation in the hotel room, so we went outside where UV rays are. When we got to the pool, everyone that was there was disgusted and fled as soon as they took my shirt off, so we had it to ourselves. Anyway, Caleb and Lauren eventually arrived, we hung out at the pool, and then realized it was happy hour next door. A very dangerous sentence. Yeah, that red, like, okay, so this pool? is us. <laughs> I'm so angry. After speedrunning my own makeup, because I'm a beast at glam, I waited for the glam rookie to finish her own makeup. <laughs> Final cut. What's in your butt? <laughs> it's a pina colada with strawberries. Oh, so that's what it is. Okay. It's a point. It's, yeah, like strawberry. Strawberries at the bottom. I don't ask how hot dogs are. I want to know how my favorite drink is made. So, hot dogs are your favorite drink? That night, I shot this. And it's a good start, I guess, but I can do better. For starters, I should maybe be sober. Which realistically probably wouldn't happen at any point, but whatever. At our hotel, there was an endless sparkling water fountain that we absolutely abused the crap out of. Honestly, the hotel probably lost money the few days we were there. Anyway, it was time to check out Waikiki a little bit and find a beach to go be disgusting at. I like the shot a lot. It looks like a layered painting. Deep, endless ocean in the background with sailboats perfectly placed in between the beachgoers in the midground and Caleb's legs in the foreground.
Ja. Anyway, later on, I was feeling myself and decided to put on a show for the entirety of Waikiki, shirtless on the balcony. We decided to go out that night and wander around aimlessly again. Of course, I brought the Contax T2 because 800T and nighttime is a combination better than dry ass Pino and daytime dramas. Anyway, it was time for us to go out and do some cute couple shit, so we caught a ride out to Koalina and awaited an epic boat journey. Ready to go? I guess. <laughs> At the harbor there, I shot some aerochrome to pass the time, and I like these shots a lot. On board the boat, and now cruising at a steady 120 knots per hour, because I don't know anything about boats, I took some sweet interiors on Cinestill 800T, and the turquoise colors bloomed nicely. Like if a Mountain Dew Baja Blast was a photo. But not as nicely as the flaming hot aerochrome colors of the island, and some dolphins doing some, I don't know, dolphin sh After some sick snorkeling, they opened up the bar for 45 minutes and then challenged us to get as drunk as possible within that time frame. I mean, not really. That challenge would be irresponsible, and we totally didn't do that at all whatsoever. Anyway, two sips of beer deep, Caleb and I decided to make everyone on the boat uncomfortable. Eventually the captain marooned us back on Oahu, and we went back to Waikiki. Solid. 
The next day was our last day on Oahu, so we had to make it worth it. So we chartered a chariot that would transfer us to the east side of the island. Luckily, our driver was super chill and stopped at a cool overlook about halfway for us. It was here that I shot some of the hottest aerochrome you'll see all year. Well, don't hold me to that, it's only February. Eventually, we made it to the beach and just chilled the f out for a few hours. I shot some more aerochrome here and there, and as per usual, I love the shots, especially this one. After getting one of the most interesting lift drivers we've ever had, the gang made it back to Waikiki for our last night in the city. After dinner, Caleb and I went rogue and did some sick night photography around the city for an hour or so. This shot is great. It's just some laundry machines, but the 800T cooled off the warm tungsten lighting just enough to make the shot look kind of futuristic gritty for some reason. A lot of these shots actually turned out very nice. I'm happy with them. And if you've ever watched this channel for more than two seconds, you know that I'm usually never happy with my work and have to punish myself like that guy from the Da Vinci Code. This shot is the creme de la creatine or whatever the phrase is. Gotta love how 800T just cools everything off and then blasts the highlights with an unforgiving amount of halation. And finally, for the last shot of the roll, this masterpiece. Okay, it's not absolutely perfect, but I really like the colors and the dichotomy of warm light next to the cooled off light. As a bonus, these two lovers or whatever, probably just coworkers, I mean, same thing, right? Really just take this photo to the next level. Anyway, these photos were a nice send off to the more populated side of Hawaii in Waikiki, as the next day we'd be heading to a different island with more chickens than people, probably. This elevator looks really cool. Yeah, it's cause I'm in it. Hey. No, because it's blue. <laughs> Goodbye, tiny TV. After picking up our rental, we jetted off to our Airbnb for the next few days on Kauai. Just two, uh, two moms on the way to soccer practice. Yes, and this man. A new island meant a new film stock, so I decided to slam some retrochrome into my Contax T2. Because every shot on retrochrome is just dripping in analog swag. I mean, at least I feel that way. A lot of people think it's dumb. 
After getting a recommendation from some locals, we headed out to get some drinks on the beach where Caleb was pondering how he would traverse the next few days of this social experiment being stuck with Monica and I in the same apartment, surrounded by loud ass chickens. Alcohol would surely help. Anyway, as someone was drowning behind me, I captured some sunset bangers on the beach. Actually, these shots are okay at best. Could have been better. So we learned from the cleaning crew that was there when we arrived at the apartment that the previous tenants had done something vaguely horrific in the unit before we got there, which truly became a knives out mystery for the ages. Uh, the people that shit themselves potentially? No, thank you. The next morning, we were totally not hungover and super glad that the outside chickens wake up at like 6 a.m. Regardless, Monica attempted to make contact with them as peace negotiations began between hostile forces. Oh, here comes another one charging. Oh my god, that is. We have been tasked today with uh, getting lunch for everyone, so. Burger King? What can I say? Kauai was very beautiful lush greens, towering mountains, and of course, abandoned buildings, right up our alley. We're gonna be inside that later. <laughs> it's so beautiful, Jason. It's so majestic. Food. That's, that's okay. There, I don't really phone? know what yeah. After lunch, it was time for us to do some boat shit along the coast. The famous Nepali coast, actually. And you can bet your infrared ass I'd be bringing some aerochrome along for the ride. Anyway, dressed in our finest linens for a sunset dinner cruise, the ride out was quite choppy and wet. After braving the storm and not barfing at all, we arrived at the Nepali coast, which was absolutely stunning. A must see if you're in Kauai, or just a really big Jurassic Park fan. I managed to pop off some air chrome here and there. This shot of Lauren is really nice, I think. The lighting, the layers, and the colors really just came together nicely. Not to be forgotten, I also shot some retro chrome, which cooled things off quite spectacularly. This shot of Monica is solid. The colors on Retrochrome just worked really well in this setting. Anyway, as the sun was going down, Caleb started pondering very deeply about the abandoned building that we passed earlier in the day. He knew that fate, destiny, and preordination were collaborating to call us ever so closer to that building, a call we couldn't ignore. The ride home was peaceful as we listened to some smooth, calming, ambient music. That night, we partied so hard that the Tums had to be brought out. You're the one that shit on our porch. Anyway, it's time to check out the beach for a little bit, but anytime I go anywhere near something green, you already know I gotta stay strapped with some aerochrome.
This shot of Monica on air chrome is totally awesome. It looks like a painting, kind of. Like if Edward Hopper did a shitload of nitrous and psilocybin, then tried to paint something quote unquote normal, which raises an interesting debate. Can the wild and unrealistic tones of air chrome be painterly, especially if I'm trying to emulate an Edward Hoppian style? I don't know. The jury's still out for me. But that didn't stop me from trying to take some aerochrome pictures of crabs. Not the STD, actual crabs that were camouflaged and chilling on some sea rocks. But it was kind of hard because they were some quick little f***ers for sure. Eventually I got one and the resulting image blended them in a little bit and turned them red like the algae around them. Kind of cool. Anyway, Caleb and I realized enough was enough and it was time to check out the abandoned hotel down the street. It would definitely be tricky getting onto the grounds because there was a construction crew there tearing the place down. But as far as we could tell, they had that day off. This hotel is the Coco Palms, or at least what's left of it. Apparently it was the shooting location for the movie Blue Hawaii, starring Austin Butler. Several years ago, the hotel was decimated by a hurricane and it's kind of just left abandoned ever since, until whoever owned it decided to tear it down, or at least we think that's what was going on. There were a bunch of construction vehicles out front, so it was either that or they were renovating it for Blue Hawaii 2, even bluer. Small world, my mom actually stayed at the Coco Palms in 1975. Anyway, like two hardened mercenaries deep in the Cambodian jungle, we eventually made it to Kurtz's compound. I mean, the Coco Palms. Because of the dense foliage, it seemed like Aerochrome was the proper choice here. It was really cool seeing this place left to decay as it was, especially because, sadly, it probably isn't going to be there much longer. Tempted to go swimming in the pools there, I realized I didn't actually want to catch ringworm, so I elected to shoot them instead. And you know what? These shots are great. Especially this one of the barbecue pit area buried deep in the infrared Hawaiian jungle. Turns out that while construction had the day off, security did not, and somehow they knew we were there. So we kind of left in a rush, only seeing about half the property. That night we went to a luau and somewhere in between drinking 20 blue Hawaiians as a tribute to our boy Elvis, I shot a bunch of retrochrome. Next morning, it was time to head to everyone's favorite place to spend time when you're on a tropical island, the airport. We did cruise around a little bit to kill some time beforehand, but it was kind of half-assed because we didn't have much of a window to do so. I was trying my best to finish this roll off of Retrochrome before we departed, but I must have loaded the 24 exposure roll so goddamn perfectly that it gave me 28 shots instead. Anyway, don't let this footage fool you. We actually boarded our flight, but then had to get off because of some minor technical issue. Apparently the brakes didn't work. And Jason is seeping. Good night, Jason. <laughs> Eight hours later, we finally hopped on board and took off back towards LA. And thus the magical vacation between Caleb and I and our girlfriends 
was over. But if you want something joyous in your life that'll never end, how about today's sponsor, Squarespace? Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform that provides everything you need to build the website of your dreams for whatever the occasion may be. With hundreds of professionally pre-designed templates to get started from, it's easy to find one that suits your needs best. Whether it's for a photography portfolio like me, your small business, or even just a website dedicated to your dog, Squarespace has you covered. If you don't know the first thing about designing a website, worry not. With Squarespace's intuitive user interface and drag and drop modules, building your own custom space is easier than ever. And if you hit a snag, Squarespace even offers 24-7 award-winning customer support. So what are you waiting for? If you're ready to build a website, you can start a free trial today at squarespace.com slash grainy days. And if you use the code grainy days at checkout, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Anyway, that's a wrap. Ironically enough, we ended up getting even more flight credit because of the delay and now we have to go back which isn't exactly a total bummer. I mean, you don't really have to twist my nipples to get me to go on a tropical vacation. In fact, it's a very good excuse to shoot some Cinestill, Retrochrome, and Airchrome. And you know what? Some of the shots might turn out quite good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and didn't think it was a waste of time like the rest of my videos. I'm gonna go eat some chicken nuggets.